you must have heard the great news. Bitcoin has finally broken through its iconic level of $30,000. And this is the time for me to start some trading bot, especially the infinity grid bot of KuCoin because it fits very well the context. So in this video, first I will explain why I'm making this choice and then I will show how to configure such a trading bot. And finally, as a test, I will launch several of these trading bots with different parameters. So in the future, I can report to you on what works best for Bitcoin. All right, let me start by motivating a bit more why this 30K level was important for me. So what we have under our eyes here is the Bitcoin US dollar daily chart. And today we stand around here in this corner, but I've zoomed out so we could see back a couple of years. I've also plotted this 30K level with this blue line. So you can see how it has been a key level in the past. For instance, here it has been a major support level throughout a long period. The same here and again, the same here. And when the Bitcoin price finally broke, through that's really when we were at the bottom of the bear market for quite a while this level is also where the previous bull run of bitcoin started at this point here so having the price of bitcoin breaking through this level recently is understandably quite a good sign for the future price action of bitcoin let me zoom in a bit more so we see what is happening nowadays we can clearly see that since the beginning of the new year the bitcoin price has really been following an uptrend please remember that i'm not not a financial advisor. This is just me sharing my personal experience. Anyway, with this Bitcoin history now in mind, let me tell you a bit more about this Infinity Grid bot and motivate why I'm going for that one specifically. Let me go to the trading bot page and then we'll click on Infinity Grid. Let me then go to tutorials. The background principle of this Infinity Grid bot is pretty similar to that of a standard grid trading bot, as you might have guessed. So the bot will create a grid depending on the parameters that you feed him. And on this grid, it will set a number of orders, some buy orders and some sell orders. The buys will be executed when the price goes down, while the sells will be executed when the price goes up. One of the key parameters of this trading bot is indeed the grid spacing, because this will dictate the size of the variations of the price the trading bot will capture, but also how often these orders will be executed. And in the case of this infinity grid bot, the grid spacing is given in percentage. That's precisely the parameter we will start some tests on today. Then what you have to set is this lowest limit price. This just means if the price goes below this limit, the bot will just stop trading and wait until the price goes above this limit to start trading again. And that's actually it in terms of parameters to configure the grid, because as compared to a standard grid trading bot, you can see that there's no upper limit price to give. And what this implies is that the trading bot is going to follow the growth of the asset, but keep trading the volatility in that price action. And that's what's interesting to me. And the way it manages to do that is by always keeping an equivalent number of orders below the current price and above the current price and constantly updating that as the price of the asset evolves. This sentence really summarizes why I'm using that. The infinity grid is a derivative strategy of the spot grid designed to avoid missing out from the crypto pumping. Personally, I think this suits perfectly what is starting to happen with Bitcoin at the moment. Okay, now that we've covered the basics, it's time to configure our first trading bot. This is going to be our reference, so I'll go for a standard 1% grid spacing. So BTC USDT is what I want. I'm going to put the daily chart though so we can see things better. There we go. And then to configure the bot, you have two options, auto or custom. We're going to go to custom and you see minimum price, profit per grid. So this percentage for the grid spacing. And finally, the total investment that we want to make. And the minimum value that you will be allowed to put here will depend on the minimum price that you set here and the grid spacing. We're going for 1% for this first test. So let me just put a 1% here and then we need to fix the minimum price. Let's be extra conservative here. If we imagine that we're in for a pullback to the previous important level around 2827, we could put that here. And you can see that the minimum I'm allowed to put is a bit more than 166 USDT. My plan was to put 200 USDT per trading bot. So I think we'll go this extra conservative step and go to the previous major level around 23. So let's see if we can do that. 23. Okay, almost to 200. Let's say if we did 22 now. Okay, we are above. So I'll just put 23 and I'm going to put 200. 
And there are some advanced settings, so let me show them to you. You can add a stop loss price. I'm not interested in doing that. If the price goes below that minimum price that I set here, no problem. I'll just wait for Bitcoin to go back above. I have no problem with waiting and being patient. And I won't put any take profits. I will let this bot run until I feel it's done enough. By the way, if you want to try this bot out for yourself, you must know that this kind of bot does a lot of trades per day and therefore reducing your trading fees is very important. In the long run, it can make a big difference. So don't hesitate to use our registration link down below for KuCoin. It supports the channel a lot and it will give you a 10% discount on trading fees. Note also that you're allowed to create up to three accounts with the same KYC on KuCoin. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to click on create and confirm. And there we go. We have our first trading bot all set and it has finished initializing. There's something else I forgot to mention with the configuration. So let me put back this 23K and the 1%. And you remember that this minimum price here depends on how far that minimum price at the top is from the current price. But also the grid size will change that. So the smaller this number, the higher this minimum will be. So for example, if I went for two, then the minimum goes down and went to 120. Now, I would like to have a test running so I can find out what grid spacing works best and then I can report to you on that in the future. From experience, I think 1 or 2% works well, but we'll have to see. So what I actually did was to quickly launch another two bots after that first one. One with a 2% grid spacing and the other 3%. Let me show them to you. You can see the three bots here that are running, but let's go to the classic display version. Clicking here, we'll see them better there. Then I'm going to go on running and you can see them here where we can monitor what's happening nicely so let me just show you this one is the one percent this one the two percent and this one the three percent so now all i have left to do is be patient and i will report on the profits and the performances in a month or two by the way you might be wondering what i'm hiding under here and that's actually a test that i've been running for quite a while on standard grid trading bots and that will be the subject of the next video so stay tuned if you have any questions about all of this please write them down below or join our community discord and if you want me to run more tests like this let me know anyway this was robot traders for you and here's more if you want. Don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Take care and see you soon.